You wouldn't think you could see a sound or photograph a speed, but those are just two of the ways scientists are building up a picture of how our sun works on the inside. Deep within the sun, in the swirling cauldron of hot plasma called the convection zone, there are bubbles, rather like the ones in boiling water. And like those water bubbles, the ones in the sun create a noise. As they get to the surface, these bubbles of sound squeeze the plasma so it gets brighter in places and at the same time moves upwards. And by measuring that upward and downward movement, the instruments aboard the SOHO spacecraft have enabled scientists to look for the very first time into the depths of a star. These changes, which are incredibly small relative to the vastness of the sun, are as hard to measure as the track of a snail crawling across its surface would be. We could never hear the sounds the sun makes by ordinary means, not just because it's 150 million kilometers from Earth, or because space is a vacuum and sound doesn't travel through a vacuum. The problem is that our star has a very, very deep voice and sings with a very slow rhythm. The sounds ring at a very low frequency, once every five minutes. But by recording the natural sound and accelerating it 42,000 times, SOHO has compressed 40 days of recordings into a few seconds. And this is the actual song of the sun.